Hi, my name is Blake Armstrong, and I am a digital artist. I think a lot of my art really just comes from just regurgitating stuff that I like. A little more maybe on the pop culture side, you know. As a kid, that's all I would do. I would draw what I saw. I'd draw Batman, I'd draw Power Rangers. And so that hasn't really changed at all now that I'm 29. Uh, my studio space, uh, if you want to call it that, is really just, uh, you know, my home in Burbank. Um, it's very small. Uh, it's filled with, you know, toys and dust and <laughs> trinkets and things. Um, but, you know, it's home. Uh, I always keep my Drew Struzan, my Alex Ross, and my Frank Frazetta books nearby so that uh, I can stay inspired. And if I'm having trouble with the composition or something, I can always just flip a page and see something that will get my, get my brain working. My setup is pretty low tech. It's low tech, high tech, but it works. You know, it's functional. I, I like the laptop and the tablet because I can work anywhere. Digital's so much more forgiving, and I think the, the room for experimentation is, is really great. Movie posters were the biggest influence on my art, I think. You know, Drew Struzan, uh, Richard Ansel, those kinds of guys. Seeing their artwork really kind of opened my mind. I looked a lot at Dave Raposa's artwork. I'd say he was probably the biggest influence on my comic book. I was really fortunate that my art was seen by In Flames. Um, they're my favorite band. I met them at a signing. They saw a piece and they, you know, kind of opened themselves up to let me do art for them. Yeah, I have, people tend to have a hard time looking at like my heavy metal artwork and then my nerdy self and <laughs> connecting the two. The fans I've met, I'm sure, have been surprised that uh, you know I made a heavy metal comic book and that I'm working with you know one of the bigger bands in the heavy metal genre. I like busting up stereotypes. Just because I don't have long hair and a crazy beard doesn't mean I can't make a heavy metal album cover. I just finished doing uh, Siren Charms, which is In Flames' uh, newest album. I did all the I did the cover art and I did all the uh, uh, album art inside, all the booklet art. Um, and I'm working on some personal projects right now. I just did an art show at the comic book hideout in Fullerton which uh, I had a lot of my posters exhibited, which gave me a lot of motivation to keep going in that direction and working on uh, different kinds of posters. I did a poster for a movie called Revelation Trail, which is a zombie-themed western. I submitted four rough comprehensives to the marketing company for this movie, uh, and they chose this one. You can kind of see from the rough to the finish, you know, how much work actually goes into this. So I'm currently, you know, trying to educate myself on how I can make these things look more like actual paintings. I've had people look at, uh, for instance, a Back to the Future poster I did and say, hey, that looks like it was done in pastel. Um, that was like the best compliment I think I could get on that poster, was that people didn't know right offhand that it was done entirely, you know, in Photoshop. For instance, on the In Flames album art, I did a lot of stuff that looks like charcoal and graphite. Um, that was kind of the goal. I wanted it to feel very kind of cloudy and smudgy. You know, and then of course you look at the Revelation Trail poster and with that it's much more oil painty. It seems like the paint's very thick and it looks like you're looking at lots of layers and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll be able to push that a little bit further in the, in the work that's coming up. There's always something. It's limitless. You know, when you're working in art you can make literally anything. So um, there's a lot of stuff I really, I really, really want to do. There just aren't enough hours in the day.